Welcome to Men Reading the Bible. Hello, men. I wanted to say something different than, hey guys. So, hello, men. It is the 72nd reading, and we are in 2 Samuel chapters 5 through 9. And the big point or the big question is how your life fulfills prophecy. Um, do you ever wonder what's the point? I mean, we get up to we we get up in the morning, we go to work, we earn our paycheck. Why? So we can pay the bills and get up and go to work and earn a paycheck and pay the bills, and um, the years fly by. And uh, sometimes we can think, why do we do what we do? What does God really think about what we are doing in our time or with our time here on Earth? And uh, today, this is a big one. Uh, this may turn into part one and point two, uh, part one and part two. Um, theologians call um, it, we're focusing on chapter seven, and it's the Davidic covenant, what theologians call the Davidic covenant, or the promise, the eternal promise that God gave to David. So this is big, and it's very impactful to our day-to-day -day lives as we uh, seek to live our, seek to, to be men in, uh, in our roles that we have day-to-day. -day. So um, let's look at our reading and then get back to this thought, um, how is our life fulfilling prophecy? Um, chapter 7 is one of the most famous and important chapters, including one of the most important passages in all the Bible. Um, the Bible. What's the big point of the Bible? As a quick reminder, it's one unified story that points to Jesus. We know that Jesus came calling us to repent for the kingdom is at hand, and uh, we are called to live lives of faith, trusting in Jesus Christ as our Lord. We're in 2 Samuel. What's the big point of 2 Samuel? God is establishing a king in Israel, just as God revealed to the prophets all the way back in Genesis 17, he told Abraham, I will make nations of you and kings will come from you. Genesis 49 tells us that these kings would come through the line of Judah, talked about the scepter uh, should uh, belong unto Judah. And in today's reading, David is having his early success. Uh, all the chapters from chapters one through 10, uh, David is on the rise. Today, in chapter 5, uh, begins with David becoming king over Israel. David conquers Jerusalem. David defeats the Philistines. Finally, the ark is brought back to Jerusalem. And then we focus on this promise that God gives to David. David responds with an amazing heartfelt prayer in the last part of chapter 7. And then we see a series of David's victories some accounting of the officials that work with David, and then this very interesting story of David and Mephibosheth. And uh, that's a whole picture of the gospel right there, that if we had time in chapter 9, we could look at um, David respecting uh, the grandson of Saul, Mephibosheth, who had two broken feet. And um, David said, is there any descendant of the house of Saul that I can bless? And it was his good friend, Jonathan's um, son. And uh, this is, a, like I say, a deep story we could go into there. And uh, wh what about the story that we are in right now? David goes to God and says, all you have is a tent. All you have is a tabernacle. They had not built the temple yet. And David says, God, I want to build you a house. All right, to be continued, we are going to stop right there and then do part two tomorrow. This is a big one. Let's go ahead and pray and um, get ready for our day and really uh, take time to read through this, this chapter and see um, how pivotal it is in the entire Bible. So, Father, we thank you so much for your promises. You call them covenants. You call them testaments. You call the old Testament, the New Testament, the Old Covenant, the New Covenant. You are a God that keeps promises and fulfills prophecies. And Lord, uh, none of us live outside of your view, outside of your sight. And you call us into lives of significance, no matter where we are 
no matter what churches we serve, no matter what um, uh, state or country that we live in. Lord, you see us and uh, you love us and you call us to trust in you. And because of Jesus, what you did, um, those that believe in you please the Father. And we can rest and we can fight under the pleasure of our God. God, thank you so much for all of the labor that you have have done for us. And thank you for the call that you've given to us to give us lives of incredible meaning and incredible purpose. So to be continued, Lord, I look forward to the rest of this tomorrow. In your name I pray, amen. All right, guys, God bless you.